Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if it is your first time in this neck of the woods, my name is Melissa. Welcome to the place where we only do supernatural makeup looks. Um, but yeah, today this happened. I woke up just feeling really ugly and I was like, whoo, I want to put a lot of makeup on my face. And put a lot of makeup on my face, I did. I'm doing full face makeup revolution, but sister brands as well, it's like Revolution Pro, Makeup Obsession, I Heart Revolution, that kind of thing. And I'm going to be playing with some of the XX Revolution, like the foundation with the black top and stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to see how I did this look, all the products I used, all that jazz, keep on watching. Let's get clarty. Alright, <laughs> that's all I want to do today. I am grabbing my new Revolution Pro Rock and Royal palette. I have to say, I mean, these honestly feel like way better quality than Makeup Revolution. But look at that. They are really, like, not Makeup Revolution quality. Like, they're better. <laughs> my problem is, I'm not actually sure any of these shades are actually matte apart from this one. So, it's the first one I'm going to use anyway. I've not primed my eye. If you, there's a lot of pink on my skin and my ears, I do apologize. I'm never very careful when I dye my hair, but I dyed my roots again last night. I did Schwarzkopf Raspberry Rebel, and it's such a beautiful color, and it's permanent, so it won't wash out as fast anyway. And then the ends are still like brighter pink. Um, we're just getting clarty, like I said, so I'm just gonna stick this on. I was immediately impressed by the pigment from this shade and I would say this is definitely a matte shade. But yeah, I struggle with seeing any other actual mattes in the palette. But that's okay. I mean, I'm using two palettes, well three technically today. Um, I'm not being too strict on myself. I'm just over it all. You know, I'm having a bad time <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so I'm just being nice and letting myself do what I want. I'm gonna stick this in here. Oh, look at this, look at this. I got a brand new Morphe M514. I'm using an old one right now, but I just, I don't wanna besmirch my brand new one. And I'm very excited. I ordered the James Charles big brush set when it was 50% off, like what a bargain. Still super expensive, like 76 pounds or something, but so many brushes to play with. I'll use that same brush and then this shade just beside it. I don't know, maybe that one's matte as well. They all just seem to have like a tiny bit of sheen to them. Yeah, these palettes are what, 13 pounds I think? Did I buy on Beauty Bay? I think I did. I think I bought it on Beauty Bay and I had um, £10 um, tripe points, so I only paid £3 for this. This is just going to look a little rough until I do my base. I'll use that new foundation as well. And I must say I take Postman. I don't know what I was saying or doing. I'm going to go in with this one up here. That was actually an Amazon delivery. And that man was. <laughs> can you even imagine the day when we can like go to pubs again? So just smooking that out and then I'm going to take, I've put my brushes out in order but I feel like they're not in order. I'm gonna take my Rich In Colour palette, also my Makeup Revolution and Fruit Punch. I've used this quite a lot recently and I have to say, I like it. And there is not a lot of really colourful Makeup Revolution palettes that I enjoy. So this one is just a staple now. And then I'll take this pink's poppin'. If you really want a colourful palette, I honestly really would recommend this one. Like a kind of cheaper, colourful palette. I would definitely recommend this. But if you'd be willing to spend £10 more, the Beauty Bay one, it's my favourite. A lot of this is going to get done once I've got my base on. I hope I like this foundation. That's like the bones and then I'll go back in with 
this palette and just a couple of those purples. This is a nice palette. I am enjoying playing with it quite a lot. I would say the, the shimmer formula in these palettes, it's just a leak above Makeup Revolution. Truly, truly. Yeah, this is looking terrible, but that's okay. Uh, and what I did was I took more of my concealer, but it was only because I wiped off my like middle part of my eye and took a brush and I'm just going to pop this all the way up the center just so it matches the other eye but I wouldn't actually need to do this oh I've forgotten the black I was up to miss something out I just need to take that all the way up to the brow at this point okay and we're going in with this shimmer here which is one that I swatched I mean it is intense it's so stunning it's just like a baby pink beautiful dreams come true blah blah, blah. you know what i mean oh my goodness somebody help me would you rather be rich and famous for singing or rich and famous for acting i can never decide i'm using the hydrate and fix radiance fixing mist to wet my brush look at this got it honestly really impressed i don't know why i was shocked because i've got the two like original palettes in this formula like the black and the white one and they're gorgeous and then i'm gonna take this um rich in color palette again and this pink's popping this is gonna go on either side of that bright bright shimmer We'll come back to that because I want to put the black on. So the black is from the Rich in Life. Again, still Makeup Revolution. The black shade. This brush doesn't have a name. It's just a teensy tiny little brush. You know me. I want to be dramatic. So I feel like the black's just giving me that. Inner and outer. Doing a classic Melissa. I need to do like a green eye next, like a greeny blue eye. I don't want to throw too much of that on because it is a little scary using black eyeshadow. But I picked up a tiny bit more on this fluffier brush. I'm just going to caress it gently. And then I'll go in with this little brush and more of that first shade that we used. To blend around the black a little. I think this look is calling for like gems or something. Anyway, I'll leave it there because we're gonna move on to base. I'm so excited for this next product. I've been, I've wanted it since it launched and I've held off and held off and held off and then I finally bought it and I was speaking to a bunch of my patrons and they were saying that they loved it. It's the Makeup Revolution, no, Revolution Skincare Hydration Boost. Hydration Intense Watermelon Moisture Gel. If you've seen me before, you know I adore the Hydration Boost like original moisturizer. Like this one's pretty much done. I mean, it's got a lot of life in it yet, but look at how pretty it is. Can we seal on it. Let's give it a snarf. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Mmm. It does smell nice. It smells like watermelon. I mean, it's a cheap product. I mean, I don't think it... On you go, boy razor, please. I mean, I actually don't think their moisturizers are like the cheapest thing, but I mean, it's a cheap brand, isn't it? So I'm in desperate need of hydration. Oh, it does smell good. What I like about this is it's like a gel and it, when you like start rubbing it and it just feels like water, it's really lightweight. And I just feel very hydrated when I've got it on. Sinks in pretty fast as well. Do I have a primer? I guess I have that primer that I used once. Yeah, the XX Revolution Glow Fix. Might as well use this. It's supposed to be an illuminating primer. I've only used it once before, although I'm, I am using a new foundation today. 
Yeah, the primer feels nice enough. It doesn't feel that like spe doesn't feel like special or anything. Um, probably wouldn't buy it myself, but I spent the day on Thursday spring cleaning my flat, and it felt so nice. And I also washed all of my makeup sponges. And this is an actual beauty blender because I'm super blush. <laughs> we are gonna use the XX Revolution. Oh no, I threw the box away. I'm pretty sure this is like matte full coverage. So it's one with a black cap, comes in a black box. And we're gonna see what we think of this one. I quite like the other one. It's not a favorite yet. I mean, it still could be, but who knows. Um, so hopefully, this is 6.5 by the way. I've got normal to ever so slightly dry skin. You know, this is why I don't like beauty blenders. They're so small. It's wet. It's damp. But compared to my other sponges, like, it's so small. It takes more time to do anything. <laughs> kind of funny. I feel like that doesn't actually have as much coverage as I was expecting and as the one with the, the pink top. Oh, that was a really big pump, so I'll put more of it here where I need more coverage. I don't like putting a lot of foundation on my forehead less opportunity for it to sink into my wrinkles. I'm putting on quite a lot, but I'm not doing a wear test or anything today. I can do that on another day if you want me to. But it's a really rubbish day outside and I don't want to go out. I know it's looking real pale, but it'll all be fine, don't worry. The other foundation, oh, it definitely looks way better. Like this one, I don't think looks very nice. Obviously, I did put quite a lot on my cheeks and things, but even on my forehead, it doesn't look that nice. Um, it's just a bit more, like, dry. Could be the primer. Um, I definitely prefer the other one, and I actually think the other one's got just as much coverage. So I would personally get the one with the pink lid, because it's so dewy and lovely, but it sets down. Um, whereas this just goes on dry and feels quite dry. Impressions can change, and I know I'm going to get the comments, oh, you used way too much. I probably did. Um, and I will try this again. But, you know, you live and you learn, don't you? I'm going to use a concealer that I never use, and I was really excited to buy these. I've put everything away back in my drawers because it's taking me so long to film this video, and it's really annoying. I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Fix Ultimate Coverage Concealer. I just never reach for it. I'm, I'm not quite sure why. I think it's because it's in a pot and when concealers are in pots I just don't reach for them as much because they're just not quite as handy. You know? Did I say what shade this was? Light beige. I will, of course. Cream contour. I have. And I've never used this but I bought it for this purpose. The, the matte base concealer. I've not even swatched it. And this is in the shade 13.5, which is, see, oh, it's pretty creamy, it's pretty dark. I think I usually use shade 12 to put my tongue, so I don't know why I bought 13.5. I do worry it might not want to blend over this very matte, dry feeling foundation, but we'll see. I really, really like my Real Techniques Expert foundation brush for blending out cream contour. There we go. It is blending, but it's a lot of patting. I think it would work real nice over a more dewy base. It's a nice colour actually when I'm blending it in. I really want to try the Fenty matchsticks to contour with. And I'm so desperate to try the cream bronzer after I really liked the effect of cream bronzer in my copying the Raw Beauty Christie tutorial. £28, it's so, so much. This is, it's taking me ages to blend this in. Just because I don't want to like rub off my foundation base, because that would be stupid. It's a matte foundation in it, so it's obviously harder to blend stuff into it. Oh my goodness, that was like the hardest thing in the world to blend. And now I'm worried I've left this concealer on too long. It's fine. I think this concealer's pretty nice, it's got a lot of coverage. It's just one of those like thicker formulas, which is I guess why it's in a pot and not a tube. All right, Einstein. Anyway, apparently when you leave your concealer on for ages under your eyes, it gives you better coverage, that's what Jackie Aina says. Oh, wow. Wow, are you seeing what I'm seeing? 
I don't know if I just left it on too long because it's just removing my foundation. It's doing the same on this side. See, it's like stuck under my eye. But over the foundation, it's done it on my forehead as well. Oh, what do I do? That's disappointing. I don't know if it was just that concealer doesn't like that foundation or what. I'm going to have to wipe all of this off. I'll redo the same thing. Full disclosure, I just went in with a little bit more foundation on those areas. I was going to take it all off and then I decided that, nah. And it's actually, it's worked. It's covered everything up. By golly, I've got enough foundation on for 18 people. I thought I would use this powder because I don't remember what I think about it. And this hair is annoying. And I don't, I don't know. It's the light pink loose setting powder, talc free, no flashback, water resistant. And I don't know, it's been at the back of my drawer for ages. It's the messiest pot in the world. I've definitely used this once, but I don't remember what I think about it. Um, I'm just gonna bake under my eyes super quick. I bake in here. Like my drawer is covered in this powder, just completely covered in it. While it's closed, it still lets powder fall out. And I'll just use a big fluffy brush all over, but much less on my cheeks, just cause I like that look from my Robbie Christie video where I didn't put too much powder on. The best powder from this brand is the Makeup Obsession, so a sister brand, um, loose powder. It's fantastic. Everything's been rescued. I mean, I don't look fantastic, but I don't look terrible, so I guess it's kind of a win. I'll quickly throw on a little bit of Revolution Pro Skin Finish. It's been a while since I used this, just because I've been trying to not use it every day, but this base is so matte. I would just quite like to add a bit of loveliness to it. Oh, do you know what I bought in the 50% off was the Jaclyn Hill loose face powder that has a glow. I put a little bit in the back of my hand and it looks so beautiful. And then even quicker, before my battery dies, I'll use the Hydrate and Fix Radiance Fixing Mist. It's not too bad if you keep it at a distance. I'm gonna use my old favorite Ultra Pro HD contour kit. I actually don't know if this is still available. Whenever I look for it, I only find like the round panned ones, which is weird. I see the square cream contour one, but not the powder. I think, to be honest, all makeup revolution contours are made equal. Um, anyway, this is just an old fave. I've used it a billion times. I really like it. I've not put so much powder around the perimeter of my face, so I just kind of want to pat this a bit to begin with. It's just got such great shades in it. This is probably one of my oldest Makeup Revolution products. It's just really good because you can mix, like, you know, a lighter shade with an even lighter shade. If you want to do your job but not put on such a dark shade. I finally bought the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer with Moisturising Cocoa Extract. I got the shade Baja. Um, this was really expensive, that's why it took me so long to buy it. But I've heard really good things, like I was speaking to one of my subscribers on Patreon, Rebecca, for quite a while the other night, and she loves this bronzer, so I'm very excited. The packaging is lovely, and the design on the bronzer is really pretty. It's just like brown kind of full snake print. But yeah, it was just expensive, so that's why it took me so long. And like I said, don't use too much. Or like just dip in, because it's very pigmented, so. Oh, it feels so good to finally use this, because now I can put it in my drawer and use it more. I've had this stuff for like two or three weeks and not used it. That is self-control, because I wanted to do it in this video. Still being a bit careful because I'm not very set around the perimeter of my face. That is pigmented. Why have I put a bit too much on that side? <laughs> wow, that is the nicest bronzer I have tried from Makeup Revolution. I don't think I've got any other bronzers by them. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I really don't think I do. Because the bronzers, I don't know, they're just not like that special. There's nothing great about them. 
but that one is so pigmented and so smooth and it blends like a dream that color is nice it is quite dark i'd say i was actually worried it would be a bit pale like when i was looking at the shades online i thought well that might be too pale for me and i almost got the one up i'm so glad i didn't and we have a new highlighter i got the luster highlighter illuminator the packaging is like um smooth gold glitter this is in the shade white rose and that is what it looks like i haven't even touched it oh it feels like quite wet quite chunky very chunky actually wow that is pretty that like is exactly the same colors what i put in my eyes pretty much okay let's try this out Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, they know how to do um, highlighters, don't they? That is like a wet, wet, wet look highlighter. It's got a very different texture, but the glow just reminds me of Ofra, like it's that intense. Get our schnoz. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad about that. Actually, I will admit, I was probably less, way less excited about this than the bronzer because, I don't know, I've got so many highlighters. I've got so many bronzers too, but bronzers excite me a lot for some reason. But this has really surpassed my expectations. We've got the blusher reloaded. This is in Pink Lady. These are like three pounds. Um, I would quite like a shimmery blush. I'll just like mix this in with my highlight. I'll put it on the tip of the nose. Put it on the chinny chin chin. That is pretty, I mean it's just a standard blush. It works like a blush, it goes on like a blush, it's pigmented. It's nice, I put quite a lot on. I think we should carry on with eyes now and then come back to skin and see what's going on but we'll put more of this hydrate and fix spray on i'm in a bad mood because i seem to have lost my face gems i'm just gonna fanny around and fiddle oh it's so annoying i bet i binned them by accident on thursday when i was spring cleaning i feel like this liquid looks so much better but like gems scattered about. I'm gonna use the XX exact eyeliner. It's a black liner. Pretty decent. So yeah it's a decent eyeliner. I think I said that in my last video but I mean it's an eyeliner. It's a black eyeliner you know. And I'll go in with that little Morphe brush that doesn't have a name and some more of the black eyeshadow and just smoke that out. And it's more of that first dark purple shade we used. I'm just gonna have another hunt for my gems because I just feel like it would do something and if not we could use maybe like colourful eyeliner or something. I just want to like do like dots coming out or something. Um, I mean it could ruin everything but I just feel like we might as well just go ham today because that's the kind of mood I'm in. I found gems! Oh cool! Has it made it better? Has it made it worse? You can tell me. I'm having fun though. Yeah, I lost my gems. I had like a pack from Amazon that I loved, but I found this like pretty little thing, body gems. And I'm just like peeling these little ones off and sticking them on with eyelash glue. I wouldn't recommend three layers of this foundation, by the way, like I have on. It's actually hard to move my face. I guess I should try and match them up somewhat. This is gonna be hard though. This is literally going to take me an age, but I'm just yeah, using pointy tweezers, gems and eyelash glue, and I don't have any stories to tell you that would fill the time of me applying these. So I'm just going to listen to music and finish this off, put my brows on, and then we'll come back and do a lip. That took like half an hour.
because the gems half the time don't want to stick. My brows and lashes are on. My lashes are the Mitchell ones again. I don't know. They're okay. I'm starting to like them more. I the only thing I don't have I've got nude makeup revolution lip liners but I want to try like a pinky lip first see how I like it and if not then I'll change it so I'm gonna go in with MUA lip liner in couture just because it is super cheap as well I'm sorry gosh these are pigmented I'll try this shade first stripped. Um, I think this is Revolution Pro. I don't know what they're called though. Um, just the like leopard print packaging. Uh, this is like a, a pinky nude. So actually that lip liner is a bit too dark. <laughs> Quite a lot too dark. <laughs> now I do actually like the colour. It's just I need a different lip liner. I really like this combo. I used my Technic lip liner in the shade Queen and this lipstick, I've got to say it feels nice. See, the formula and the colour feel like it looks more high end. Kind of looks like a lipstick version of Too Faced Queen Bee. Mm, I like that. I like that. Let's do more setting spray and then I better do something to my hair and we'll be done. Lads, we are done. And it's a good thing that we are because I've been here for eight hours at my desk. So yeah, like some of the products like the Patricia Bright palettes, the Contour, the Makeup Revolution Skin Finish. I've used all them before so I'll talk about the new stuff. I really liked this moisturiser. I'm excited to keep playing with it. It will just go in place of my other one when that one's finished up. And yeah, nice. I think it's £8 so not so bad. The palette, I really like this palette. Just I feel like you don't understand how good the quality is unless you've played with it. Or like this style. I've got the other two like I said. I want the blue one now so bad i need to get the blue one and um, it's got a lovely like turquoise shade in it this one's a dual chrome it's just quite special and it's definitely a lot better than um their usual eyeshadow formula so i would recommend that if you love the colors for sure but just be aware there's only like three mattes i think three mattes health um i don't like this on first impression but on first impression i i did have to put so much on first of all to cover up that awfulness um and because I pumped out too much and I hate wasting things so yeah I'm not sure I will obviously play with this again I'll put it on for another video and do a wear test Um, it doesn't look great up close I don't think this powder is actually nice on my skin I do like it I'll use it more now that I've used it again but the packaging is just so messy like look that's closed and it's just falling out but it's a nice formula and then this concealer, I don't know, the first time I used it that definitely did not happen where it pulled off my foundation. It might have been that I just left it on too long while I was blending out my contour. So that could be the problem. Um, again, I'll just have to keep using it as with everything. Primer was fine, nothing to write home about, wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't seem to do anything. The blush is nice, the blush is pretty. I've got two other ones of these. Yeah, I've got Sweet Pea which is pointless because it's real pale, like too pale for me. And I've got Peach Bliss, which came broken, but I've just kind of squashed it back in. I love that one. So yeah, I like the blush. It's a nice formula. The, my favorite thing, 100%, was the bronzer. I really like this. I can't wait to keep playing with it. It's very pigmented, like Rebecca said, and I maybe put on a little bit much, but I don't care. It makes me happy. Really nice color really nice formula really nice packaging i'm so glad i finally bit the bullet and bought it and this highlighter as well in white rose wow i'm so glad i have this now it feels kind of like chunky and wet feeling when you put your finger in it but it does go on beautifully with a brush it's very like wet look it's quite an intense highlighter and i enjoy that lipstick it's nice that was in stripped i'll link everything below use my links i make money so yeah that's gonna be all for me today um a journey probably it was taking me ages to film but whether or not it'll be a long video who knows overall very happy with this makeup look it's just a melissa kind of look it's dramatic it's ridiculous and that's what we like on this channel so let me know what you think down below be nice if you wouldn't mind um i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching it if you did giving it a big thumbs up really helps me out leave me a comment down below tell me what you're going to pick up from xx revolution because it launches 
real soon, like a week or something. And subscribe to my channel if you'd be so kind. See my face on your screen three times a week. So yes, I'm gonna piss off. Hope you all have a nice evening and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Emptied out my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for a sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love?